So in this video, I'm just going to create a small console application and add some code to it just for personal testing purposes. And so to do that, I'm just going to go ahead and create a new project. And just type a console and I'm going to create one using C plus. And I'm just going to use .NET Core because I haven't done it before. And I'm just going to call this testing. It's going to go in my repo folder. And I'm going to go ahead and do 3.1 because it's got long term support. And go ahead and have this here. Um, so it's created Hello World for me. And if I have it on debug and I hit little plus, it's going to open up um, a little dialog box and then put Hello World. And then you can press any key to end it. And then you can add in your code there and you can write whatever line that you want there. And so in, in this code, I'm going to go ahead and create a list of integers. And then you can put a bracket there and fill it in. So in this case, I'm going to create a list of even integers. And then list isn't included because I'm missing the collections generic. And so that's going to add it there. And then I want to figure out if a number is in the list. And so I want to go ahead and prompt the user. And then I want to convert the string. And so I'll do uh, int x. And then I'll use int try parse and I'll pass the value string and then Ooh, I can do this instead. And so that should turn that string into an integer. And then I can go through my list for A and see if that value is located there. And so the first thing I want to do is I want to check to see if X is less than AI. And if it is, I want to break out of this loop and exit it. And then I want to see if X is equal to a I. And if it is, I want to go ahead and let the user that we found it. And I want to pause it. and then return because I found the value. And then if I don't find it, I want to continue my loop. And at the end of it, I then want to let the user know we did not find the value. And then if I've done everything correctly, so I'm going to do six. And then we found the physici physician. And then I can close the window. And then I can run it again and this time do five. And it'll let me know that it didn't find the value. If I come in here and change this to greater than and then try it, 
and maybe do six. Um, it's going to tell me it didn't find the value, but six should be in the list. And so here, I want to make sure that that's uh, less than the value uh, to get the correct results. So if I do six now, then it's going to find the value. And so that's just a quick and easy way to create a console application using .NET Core, write the code right to the command line, and just a simple 